come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hello, and thank you for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Sincerely, thank you for listening. We appreciate your patronage. We're delighted that you are joining us on this journey. Patronage? <laughs> Colin's it, uh, going into story mode right now. <laughs> it started back when we were all slightly younger. Mm-hmm. And a lot sober. More sober. Some of us are, unfortunately. He is sitting Storm in an armchair by the yeah. fireplace right now, to be fair. He is yes. in a full-blown story mode. In a robe. So, yeah, 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 yeah he's, he's got like a smoking that. jacket. He's got a pipe. Yeah, he's got a pipe. He's got an ascot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little glass of brandy. He's very fancy right yeah, now. He, he looks, looks like uh, David Niven right now. Yeah. Like, Saving oh, that welcome. for winter time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. didn't see you there. Please. <laughs> yeah, uh, Colin Archie's like sweating with that jacket on, sitting by the fire. How did he do it? I don't know. The man was a legend. Legend. Please join um, me. So what we are, we're a movie review podcast. Is If this is your first time, well, thank you very much. We don't ask for your money. We just ask that you stop what you're doing right now. Head on over and give us a review, a star rating, and especially hit that subscribe button because of all those algorithms. That the, That's how people find us. And we want more people to find us, don't we? We sure do, Colin. Well, all right, then. We don't ask for your money. But we'll but, take it. But we'll take it. <laughs> if, you, if you offer it, we're not going to say no. Just, yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> so, who are these internet radio superstars? Hallie. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin's Colin. Just trying to get energy up. Everybody. <laughs> Let's go. He's going to be like, I'm going to do jumping jacks for 10 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> we should just do that as like a standard thing before we start. Oh, anyway. I've, I've told Hallie off mic, like, if it were up to me, we'd take a break to write notes for 10 minutes, then do jumping jacks and push ups, and then start recording. That's, start, that's yeah. not yeah. a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. Not a bad idea. We're starting that next week. Yeah. Damn it. That's yeah. part of the, the <laughs> regiment. So tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by Michaela. Michaela, what did we watch tonight? We watched 1983's canon film Hercules. Directed oh, by. Shit. <laughs> Directed by Lu- Luigi Cosi, but sometimes known as Lewis Coates mm-hmm. in America. He's a famous fellow around these parts because he, he directed. Star Crash. Star Crash. The one and only Star Crash. The one and Star only Crash. Star Crash. <laughs> yeah. It's a shame there wasn't more of those. <laughs> it is. I don't think the guy is like still working in movies. I can't I think, imagine. Well, he manages Dario Argento's He worked store. under Argento for a long time, too. They're he like, co-wrote, they're buds. Yeah, he co-wrote mm-hmm. Four Flies on Grey Velvet, mm-hmm. I think, and then uh, was like, you know, worked uh, as a filmmaker on Argento's projects, and now he runs He's the a store, store manager? Profondo Rosso. Yeah, it's Dario Argento. He's got like a, it's like a costume shop. Really? With a memorabilia in the dungeon like, of the basement. Is it that sounds really cool. Is it all actually? black silk capes with red lining? Because that's what I'm picturing. It's more it's like uh, it looks like a just from the photos that I've seen. It's like it looks like really cheap, like Halloween costume kind of um, stuff. I smell. It. I was I was, yeah, hoping, I was say, I know what this store mm, smells like. I was hoping Musty. it'd be like one of those really elaborate costume shops. No, like no, really fancy it's like ones. A hole in the wall. Damn it. Yeah. But God I guess damn it. in the basement there is like this kind of cavernous dungeon. Have you been there? No, but I've seen the photos because <laughs> no, I've yeah, wanted to be there. It, yeah. Yeah. And uh in the you know each one of the little alcoves is like a, a shrine. To? For lack of a better word, to the, to the films stuff. of Dario Argento ah, I imagine and some of the uh, props. If Roddy McDowell's character from Fright Night owned a store of props from his movies, yeah, I imagine it'd be something like that. He's yeah. like, oh, this was from my 1963 movie, <laughs> Tentacles of Terror. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I yes. feel like he's waiting for the right person to come in to go all cask of Amontillado on him and just like seal him <laughs> in the basement and kill him or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. It sounds like you don't want to go in there on a slow day because he's going to talk your fucking ear off. And yeah. Well, that's what I wonder. I'm well, like, well, you with let's, stories. let's be honest. Colin wants to go with that. Yeah, <laughs> I want to go there just to meet him. Yeah. I had uh, friends who went there, went to Rome, and I was like, you got to go to the Profondo Rosso store uh-huh. and get him to say on camera, you know, it's like, hi, I'm Luigi Cosi. I'm the director of Star Crash. You're listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show. You know, ah. that would be awesome. <laughs> that it would great. be awesome. But well, yeah. when you told me which friend was going, I was like, that's never happening, yeah, Colin. Yeah, didn't go. So, <laughs> yeah. son of a bitch. <laughs> Just got to go to Rome, man. Yep. Yeah. So if you, listener, now we have a bounty. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh, I'm a bounty. Yeah, it sounds right. very targeted and violent. <laughs> Bring me the hand of Lewis Coates. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, as Michaela said, this is a canon film. The if you final been... canon film of the summer. Yeah, yeah. This... <laughs> is it the final canon film? Yeah. No, uh, not I at mean, all. I mean, it but might maybe. be. This summer, uh, I'm sorry, guys, for the struggle it's been this summer. Didn't realize how good we had it last summer. Mm. Yeah. The worst we did yeah. last year was Bloodsport. That was the worst. That was the worst. And not that's the worst. Well, Better I than mean, all these ones we did this Bola year. Young. Yeah. Yeah. This does not have Bolo Young. No. Well, they're called. I mean, every can- movie would be improved by Bolo Young, right? I think Very so. True. Yeah. And he could have been in it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Canon does have a reputation that's earned mm-hmm. uh, because of movies like this. Yes. <laughs> I think the yeah. majority of their output is. Uh, well, actually, this is like a. It's an anomaly. In uh, in canon films, you'll have to help me out because I'm mm-hmm. sure you've looked at the list of all their stuff. But this seems like something that like Roger Corman would usually have uh, produced. Mm-hmm. But somehow canon got uh, this unholy mix of canon films and uh, Italian genre cinema. So this was originally going to just be a straight up Italian film. But canon saw... Hercules in New York, which was made in 69 with Schwarzenegger, which is fucking terrible and straight up unwatchable. It's it's bad. And uh, they saw how after that he did Conan the Barbarian and then became very popular. And they said, well, we can do that same formula. And so they told Lou, for, Lou Ferrigno, they're like, if you do this, you're going to be like Schwarzenegger level. It's going to launch you into stardom. And like he was coming off of doing the Incredible Hulk TV show at this point, so it's not like he didn't have any work previous. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. so they were like, just do a do a Hercules movie, and you'll be famous. And so he's like, sure, why not? And then it didn't didn't help. <laughs> didn't help anything. <laughs> and then he was like, damn you! Yeah. <laughs> and he threw the something. He threw, he threw a Globus guy at, into he, space. He threw Golan at Globus. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, when you're. <laughs> I'll hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker. <laughs> when when they were making this movie, uh, the original script was uh, very R rated with a lot of sex and violence. Which God there it, it is. Yep. There it is. I was and, like, uh, how how did that not happen in this movie? He stormed I into understand. I think it was Yoram Globus's office with the script. And was like screaming at him, threw it on the table, and was like, "This needs to be family friendly, or I'm walking through it in the trash." Made a big dramatic so this thing. Is the Ferrigs' fault. Yes, it is. All and right. then it got cut down to a family friendly version because he demanded it. I so. say Ferrig no yeah. to this script. <laughs> oh wow! I wonder, did he you're have welcome, that much welcome, power? power? I mean, is this one of those Hollywood stories, or he actually had that much clout that they wouldn't just recast him with somebody else? With them, he did. He might not have had that clout anywhere else, but with those two, right. he did. Uh-huh. Are there, how are there many big well, I suppose who else? Yeah, who else are you going to cast? He's I mean, uh, something to him. He had Hulk a wrestler. It would have to be a professional wrestler, right? It would have to be. Yeah. You know, yeah. I like Hogan as Hercules. <laughs> Mickey Rourke. Hogan as Her- no. I'm actually 80s surprised. Mickey I'm actually surprised that didn't happen. Yeah, I would to be watch honest. that. No. Because Hogan, so Hogan was working back in 1983, right? I mean, yeah, he wasn't yeah. there. Hulkamania hadn't kicked in yet. No, but. in '83. Yeah, yeah, right? When did it? I mean, I'm not a wrestling person. I don't know, but I, I feel like the 80s like was his later, heyday, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it was like maybe later 80s. I don't know. Listener, tell us. Yeah. If you're yeah. a wrestling fan, please tell us when, when the height of Hulkamania was. I mean, my, he was definitely a fan. My main, my main wrestling was, knowledge is in the 90s, so I'm not really sure. Was he Hollywood Hulk at that point, or was that after? No, that was no, later. No, 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 that was, that later. was later. See, that, that guys, I don't know anything about wrestling. Yeah. Do you guys know that Lou Ferrigno is partially deaf? Is he? He's mostly deaf, I think, actually. Really? Things like that, yeah. Huh. So he was a Mr. Olympia, mm-hmm. right? Along yeah. with Schwarzenegger, I believe, right? Where in they this both... movie, you can really see it, I feel like. Yeah. He's fucking, the... he's wider than he is tall in this movie. He's, he's fucking huge. huge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At least his upper torso. It's like yeah. kind of that it's steroided so kind of. so wide. You don't see, that's what I was saying. Like I think we've been talking about this before. You don't see anybody with that build anymore. No. Is like, that steroids? Has... His muscles are like layered. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like yeah, like his like neck muscles that go up to, like are just yeah. insane. Like I, I, yeah, I don't really know how to like describe it. Like a fucking it. tree. It, like, and they got these veins. He's got this vein this, running down his arms. Yeah. It's yeah, like that scene when the ugh, old, ugh. that scene when the witch was like, "I need your blood." I was like, "Well, there's a massive vein staring you in the face right, right now." Stab that thing. Take, just take your pick of veins. Yeah. Yeah. Just like tap it. Just you know, tap yeah. that keg. 
Yeah. It's massive. He also does not ever wear a shirt in this movie. Never. Not once. He's wearing a loincloth. I mean, he's uh, Hercules. Finish. He never wears a shirt. Yeah, he he didn't even a wear a peplum. Did the Rock Hercules? I'm pretty sure he wore a shirt. I never saw at it. At one point. I didn't see it. Yeah, the Rock. At least he wears, he's not uh, a big Brett Ratner no, he, fan. The, no, the Rock so Hercules. I saw that movie. Much. It actually wasn't that bad. He wears a, he wears like a, what was it, a cheetah head or a lion? Yeah. lion head. And it looks kind of cool, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was not a horrible movie. What was the other one that came out recently? It was Rennie Harlan's uh, awful, oh, you can awful stop right thing. There. Yeah, The Legend of Hercules, starring yeah. uh, that fucking Twilight kid, um, Kellen Lutz. Yeah. Him. Oh Jesus! There you go. Didn't see it. No. Oh. Looked off. Did anyone see it? Well, no, because yeah. it had Rennie Harlan's name on exactly. it. So who the fuck's gonna watch it? That's a yeah. ju- that's a don't pay for this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Steve Reeves, Muscle Man. Steve Reeves was the original Hercules in 1957. Wow. Okay. So, tales uh, old as time, huh? It. Well, I mean, Hercules. <laughs> when you when we were looking up this movie to watch, we watched it on uh, Amazon Prime. Yes, we're aware that Shout Factory did put out a deluxe double feature set with this and its sequel. Run out and get it now. If you want to uh, send it to us, <laughs> don't say no. You don't say no. <laughs> I'm not going to say no um, to a free no. Blu-ray. I'll but as yeah, we were flipping it, but... <laughs> through, trying to find this film, we encountered how many Hercules films oh, would you what? say that we saw? Like 12 to 15, probably. Before we stopped, because there was still more yeah. Yeah. in that list. It's an easy uh, one to do. Get a big muscle dude, and he can just fight anything. It's like Hercules. Hercules and the captive women. Yeah. yeah. That was one that we that saw. Was that was one. <laughs> the mole men versus Hercules. Hercules versus the son of the sun. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, the Hercules oh. Unleashed. Was that like the gay that was like one. One. Yep. Yeah. yeah, there was, and there was Hercules versus the Hydra, which is the Jane Mansfield, uh, Mickey Hargitay one. Yes, mm-hmm. really bad. Which you may have seen that on Mystery Science Theater. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I've seen Hercules and the Haunted World because it was a Mario Bava movie, and it had Christopher Lee as the bad guy. Oh, that's, oh, I'd, watch that. that's that's, that's, <laughs> I'd watch it. Yeah, well, it's a colorful movie. I mean, yeah. that's what this one kind of reminded me of. Except uh, I don't, I couldn't tell you which one of those was actually better. But um, <laughs> Steve Reeves, the the reason I say that he was in two of them, but uh, he was like the first guy so this is part of something called the sword and sandal genre mm-hmm. right which evolved yes. out of biblical epics in the 50s in the 60s became sword and sandal in the 80s it became sword and sorcery right so they got this uh this guy steve reeves who was a bodybuilder and put him in this part he did two movies and then i think between 1957 and 1965 if my memory uh holds up they did 19 films the italians did about Hercules, Jesus. nineteen movies. <laughs> I don't, so I don't find it that watchable of a story to keep no. making no. that. Well, no. so eventually yeah. it spiraled off into like there was the Goliath movies and the Samson movies, and like they just made uh. these bodybuilder. Uh, they're kind of, I mean, I suppose they're fantasy mm-hmm. epics. Well, sure, I'm using that in mm-hmm. quotes. But uh, ironically, Arnold Schwarzenegger said that the one of the the main reasons he wanted to get into uh, bodybuilding and into film was because of the Steve Reeves Hercules. He saw that when he wow. was a kid. Time is Indiana. a flat circle, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. So it's ironic <laughs> that his bodybuilding, like, uh, well, I was going to say nemesis, but. Uh, uh, um, Inspiration? No, Lou Ferrigno. Oh, would gotcha. be oh, gotcha. his uh, competitor. Uh, for I would say uh, the, the, the poor or, man's or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would get the part. Hercules. Well, I suppose Schwarzenegger already had it. Yeah, and Hercules right. in New York, which yeah. is, guys, now, it's not good. From yeah. what I remember, is Hercules in New York, is uh, Schwarzenegger dubbed in that movie? Yes. Okay. Mm. Um, and even still, uh, he's turning in a Wiseauian performance. Uh. Mm. That is, you watch that movie and you're like, this guy should never be in another fucking movie. It is baffling. <laughs> no, <laughs> Bill, uh, Bill Burr does a Mickey great Hargitay bit. in that one yeah, too? Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Bill Burr does a great bit on Schwarzenegger. It's like, this guy should be unloading trucks in Transylvania. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and look where he did. He's like, he came to our country. He he became like um, Mr. What was it, Universe mm-hmm. like five yeah. times. Married, married to Kennedy. Kennedy. Yeah. <laughs> you became try and go to someone senator. else's country, <laughs> marry one of their senator. royalty, yeah. become part of their government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the American dream, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he is. He, really he is. should not have succeeded, and yet he did. No, mm-hmm. but it was Pumping Iron was the movie yeah. that really launched mm-hmm. him. And I think Lou Ferrigno, they were both launched out of that same movie. Because mm-hmm. wasn't it? I haven't seen it, but I think it's like, it's the two of them, right? And then yeah. Schwarzenegger wins, and it becomes you know about him. But I think it's the two of them competing right. for the title. 
And that launched them both. One went to TV with the Incredible Hulk. Mm -hmm. He's the first Incredible Hulk, I think, that was ever. And he still does like the the voice acting pretty frequently in the Marvel films. Yeah. What I'm heard. Yeah, I think they still use his voice. Mm -hmm. Um, Or at least they they, they they did. They did. I think they stopped. I think it's mostly the screams and the yells. I know they they definitely did in the first Avengers. Mm They did it in the Ed Norton one. I know that for sure. Yeah, yeah. he has a cameo yeah, yeah. bit. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. the one that that draws, you know, at least pays homage back to the original yeah. series. Um, they use the music in that too. They from do the show. The um, music in this movie. You know Sean, what? Do you want to point out the sound effects that they stole straight up stole in this movie? It's Pac Man. <laughs> <laughs> Just a dying Pac Man. <laughs> Which it's sad. The sound it's effect you and, yeah. I will say, I will say though, if it wasn't for like the really fucking heroic music, this movie would have been way more boring. But that music kind of shoved it along a little more. Well, that's credit to the great Pino Donaggio, who did, did like every could. single yeah, Brian De Palma movie. I think. Pino Donaggio. There's like him. Wait, and, he did uh, Brian De Palma movies. Is what you're, so Pino. he's done. So he's done. Compared to this, he's done high art. Is yeah. what you're saying? Oh yeah. <laughs> Peter Donaggio did. Well, he did the Howling also. That's one oh. of his. And Which, Carrie. And, I mean, oh, uh, all that stuff. That time is a flat circle again because Sybil Danning is in this movie. Who was in the Howling Two? Your sister is a werewolf. She was Sturba. Mm. Mm. So yeah, that, uh, it's neither Italian or canon. Damn no. it! I was trying to make a trifecta. No, but, but you said that. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, did right, the score uh-huh. for the Howling? Okay. So it's <laughs> off. We mentioned dubbing. Why the fuck is this movie dubbed? Because they can. All right, so yeah. let me Why? tell you a little thing. Can. This is we're going back to the story about Italian cinema in this mm. era because they knew these filmmakers knew that uh, that the films were going to be distributed internationally. They recorded without sound, everything. Yeah. So nothing. They didn't require live sound at all, and then they would just dub it in whatever language it was going to you know be marketed to whatever mm-hmm. country's but language. But they're speaking English. It's yes. dubbed in English, and they didn't use any of the actors because they didn't record it's... them on the day. But why not have the actors <laughs> well, do yeah, the voiceover yeah, in the exactly. studio? Then? Why Who knows have... what any of these people sound? Nobody knows what uh, what Lou Ferrigno sounds like because all don't? he does is go. I watch King of Queens. The... I know what he sounds well, like now. But in 1983, he'd the, only seen The Incredible Hulk. So and he the goes, Hulk Rrr. never talked on the show? No. He was, no. Only, he was only the muscled out Hulk. Yeah. Well, I know, he but wasn't, uh, Bruce he never Banner. had it. Okay. He wasn't the intelligent Hulk of the well, later yeah. comics. No, so he, he was just, just like... Screamed and yelled. Okay. Yeah. yeah. With an hmm. amazing yeah. haircut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Epic. Yeah. He does have very luxurious hair, I will say. Like it, he it, does. it looked very dense in this movie. It was like his hair is very dense. Yeah, like bread. That's you know, a, I think, like. I think it's a nest. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, <laughs> it just looks like you could not run a comb through that. I don't know why. That's what I'm saying, man. That's that's it's dense like, as shit. Well, you know? you don't super... use a comb in that. You use a brush. Yeah, <laughs> it's like super like a, godlike a horse. hair. Though. Look at this mane on my head. I know what it's like. Yeah. You use a brush. <laughs> All right, so what's this movie about? This Hercules adaptation? Adaptation? Um, of mythology? I mean, adaptation is generous, I think. No. I think- no. <laughs> no. Adaptation of mythology, no. I mean, if, if by that you mean of all mythologies, then mm-hmm. yes, because we got a little Moses in here. We got some some mm. uh, Asgard Rainbow Bridge shit going on. There's yeah. every mythology but just tossed into this shit at convenience. never see. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a bunch of stuff. But his origin story is he's Moses. He's fucking putting a boat in the river and yeah. just shoved off and yep. been like, yeah. you'll be fine. Moses and the reeds. Yeah. But that's yeah. also how another the movie, I think that, you know, we were saying before that uh, this is 83. Conan the Barbarian is 82. But the movie, I think that this really, the, the, the Italian said, we got to do that is Clash of the Titans, mm-hmm. which also starts off with our hero Perseus being, well, there's the uh, the the gods are interfering in, you know, uh, human affairs. Mm-hmm. And at the beginning you have Zeus and, you know, uh, Hera and uh, Aphrodite or whoever, Athena, sitting yeah. around. I think it's like uh, there are scenes in this movie that run parallel to uh, Clash of the Titans. But yes. there's that, you know, setting him adrift in the water. Then the there's the boat. weird and sci-fi bend to this movie too. Yeah. With the uh, wizard Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah. And Zeus. Oh, yeah. Zeus. It's, it's the down. it's that silver wig that, yeah. that yeah. you find at uh, costume you know, shops, Party yeah. City. Yeah, probably yeah. at Profondo Rosso. You can probably go. Find <laughs> <it>. <laughs> probably. Probably all the costumes in this movie came from a place like that. <laughs> yeah. 
so there's a there, we get like a, the the film starts with a, maybe like a ten minute um, introduction to the universe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the How'd... entire universe <laughs> it came, felt like. came from a jug. Yeah, yeah a jug. A yeah. jug. Yeah. That was Pandora's, Pandora's jug. jug. There weren't even people or anything yet, but a jug. Yeah. 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 There was, first there was chaos. Then out of chaos came Pandora's jug. But before that, <laughs> and, and during that, Sean, you pointed out, I feel like I'm at the planetarium. It did. It felt like I'm at the Chicago planetarium. I'm just like, this is wild. wild. Yeah. yeah. This is fun. And part know. of the jug formed this, Uranus. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, then wow. you have to sit through <laughs> Neptune, Jupiter, and, you know. <laughs> oh my god! It's like how long is this gonna go on? And for? the gods oh. created Uranus, and it was good. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No wonder why they skipped a few planets. Yeah. <laughs> and so the gods end up with Zeus creates Hercules, not Heracles, Hercules. Which one's the Roman? One's the Roman, and one's I don't Greek. Know. Uh, I don't no, know. This in, must be Greek. In Hercules in New York, they say Hercules, but that's also Hercules. Because- Hercules. Yeah. Hercules. <laughs> That's also Hercules in New York, so right. Yeah, so that yeah. means you know, yeah. Yo, Hercules. Hercules. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So Zeus creates. He says uh, something to the effect of what that. Um, I don't, well, I don't know. He needs, to even, he needs to even things out with evil. Like evil is a big factor in the worlds that they've just created. He needs to balance it out for man, so he creates. Instead the strongest of, man. Was that what the it was? smartest yeah, man. It was that's a dumb it idea that we instead of helping like, all of them, they will give him. They will give uh, man a champion. Yeah, so they create. created that from light. She was like, "You could make them all strong, or you could just make one super strong." And I was like, "Make them all make strong. Them all strong. That sounds like yeah. a way better plan." Yeah, <laughs> spread the wealth, man. Yeah. And I guess at this point in the film, while we've, I'm not sure who like the antagonist is. There's basically <sighs> there's Zeus question. sits on. It's not Mount Olympus. He's on the moon. He's on, yeah, they're, they're on all the moon, on the moon. Yeah. Yep. On the moon. Uh, with uh, the moon I think moon he's got Hera, his wife, on one side, and he's got Athena. I, I think, think so. so. On the other side. Yeah. And he says, I'm going to create, you know, this uh, being of light and send him down to the earth to, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was better than they did in the movie. So yeah, good job. Uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but somehow uh, Hera hates this idea. Yeah, yeah, not a fan. She's kind of a bitch. She's like, fuck you. For no good fucking reason. No reason. Okay, but this is the thing they're borrowing from Clash of the Titans without actually borrowing. In Clash of the Titans, it's because Zeus has sex with a mortal woman to create a, a demigod, Which, right? in all of Greek mythology, is the only reason Hera ever does anything. It's because yeah. she's like, oh, you fucked this other person? Yeah. That's that's Hera's whole life. Yeah. Which, Greek which mythology. doesn't Zeus have, like, a ton of wives? Yeah, yeah a ton. <laughs> so, which is why yeah. she's so pissed. Yeah. Why pissed all yeah, the time. Yeah, she's pissed all the time because he has a fuck ton of bastard yeah. children out there, so. Yeah. And but they're fucking shit one. up because they're demigods. Right, so yeah. They're, they're going yeah. around fucking everything up, so... But in this one, they leave that bit out, which is the important thing to like what her motive is for yeah. just, you know, like right. wanting to fuck with this guy for the rest of his life. Yeah. Yeah. At least They're for half it. the movie until she disappears and they replace right, and the, like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The Kryptonians disappear. They felt like Kryptonians. They, they did. did. This, 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 like the front half of this movie is like a straight up Superman. Basically. Off. Yes. Yeah. Some music in there, and then there's Lou Ferrigno posing. Yeah, as he is in the creative. stars. Yeah, yeah. In his like nude thong, like yeah. his like as he's Kendall situation, that. as yeah. he's rotating back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Just have yeah. a shadow on his on his crotch. Don't make just, him wear just, a fucking nude just thong. Go dick hanging. Just do it. No, like, just Sean, do it. can't do that. No, Sean. Family, family friendly. Yes, family friendly. PG. Yeah. PG. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Just make it a shadow. Just yeah. make the light doesn't fall. I, I would argue you that know? the flesh colored thong is more disturbing <laughs> than just having his dick out there. To me, I'm but like, that's, what's going yeah. on? Uh, Bodybuilder. Yeah, it doesn't look right. No, it doesn't. Yeah. But maybe at the time, maybe, rather maybe know the why world I'm was bigger out. into bodybuilders then than they you are now. You just want to see Lou Ferrigno's dick. I, I mean, just, that, would, that would make more sense. Just say it. That would make more sense to me and be less disturbing. So I'm like, oh, I understand what's going on here. I don't understand what's going on in the thong thing. It just looks weird. Maybe it's like, you know, 
how like I'm surprised, really have, I'm surprised it didn't have a tassel hanging from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's Can't so bite. many fucking tassels in this movie. Crotch, crotch tassels. But, crotch tassels. But none of the guys, hashtag crotch but none of the guys costumes episode. have the weird crotch. It's just the female costume. Yeah, of course. They don't. Yeah. Clearly, don't know how to make costumes for female. They don't know how to make costumes. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. thinking it that, that it's going to be like true. part of a dress, right? Except they're leaving the the thighs bare because they yeah. usually have something down the side, sure, the hip area, and then like right in front out of the. Crotch. Yeah. No, they're just they're just wearing. <laughs> like the one piece just the unitard super high cut because just the, 80s. the super yeah. high cut unitard and mm-hmm. then there's always something streamers. enhancing the crotch camel toes everywhere it's just streamers how did she sit streamers. down with that i don't know I don't, she probably no, didn't she never did, it, she never did who movie, are we, we talking about oh fuck Ca- the, cassiopeia st- okay yeah, yeah. all right so like, stormy daniels look like yeah That's yeah sybil danning yeah sybil danning B movie superstar Sybil yeah. Danning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, she a superstar. She was a B movie uh, star for yeah. sure. Yeah, I've seen a, her in a couple of things. Yeah, Chained Heat. Nope. Helen nope. too. Not that one. Sister is a werewolf. Yep. Reform Battle School Girls. Beyond Stars. Yep. Mm-hmm. And oh, yeah. she was in Rob Zombie's Halloween too, because of course he loves women like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's she, like a nurse or something. Yeah, he brought her back, I think, and she was in Werewolf Women of the SS, the trailer. Mm. Yeah, she was um, the main girl. What was her name? God damn it. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Uh, I can't Ilsa? Her name. Ilsa. Yes. I'm sure. Yes. Be Ilsa, Ilsa. If you're doing that. Yeah. Yeah. I think she injured herself during doing a stunt or something during the 80s and retired for several years until she came back for the Rob Zombie stuff. Mm-hmm. Sybil Danning, model, pinup, movie star. I'm sure there's got to be a documentary about her. Probably. Okay, well, anyway, she is the antagonist. Well, it's one of. One of. Sort of. Yeah. Who, yeah. Well, they, they, they run in and out. There's, she's a mild antagonist. Yeah, there's a few. Okay, she's for, a, uh, for the listener at home, antagonist. She can't maybe we can do this. Ooh. Tell don't, me what this movie things, is about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's the log line? What, the description on the back of the video box. And we're not looking at it, folks. We're going to make one up. Here we go. This is going to be good. All right. Um, In the film Hercules, muscular, Lou Ferrigno, <laughs> muscular action figure must save woman he loves. Um, yeah, from, from a series of from cosmic his, tasks and endless tests. <laughs> from endless, t- yes, <laughs> it is. But at the a same time, it's only like four. Tests. They just take forever to do. There was yeah, three. There was three in the Gladiator Arena alone. I don't yeah. think those count as individual tasks. Oh, they, they did to like me. Yeah. I think, yeah, they felt like it. <laughs> right, but I think if you're talking about like from the mythology of Hercules, like I Not think the talking about this movie is a task. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he has to keep yeah. proving himself yeah. somehow. Yes. Yeah, but to prove his what, worth, <laughs> maybe it doesn't seem like that. I, I think it feels like it's proved yeah. right off I think, the bat. I think what made it feel like those were individuals because after every single one, that little minion to the king was like, he must prove another. He must prove himself with another task. Your voice is way too deep. For I'm sorry to do that, guy. Yeah, no, but he did it like every time, so he made like everyone like yes. very specific. So it felt like. If it did now not we feel like bring one. Out the winged horses. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he can challenge the yeah. And he does. Mm-hmm. Well, he Hercules, did it way better. Hercules yeah. has a difficult <laughs> upbringing, right? Because he's found much like Superman is when his uh, craft docks. You know, well, his parents are murdered. Made that okay, very We're, we got to go back in time. His parents are uh, are <laughs> King Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the craft docks. Craft docks. <laughs> They're the king and queen of Thebes. Am I right on this? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. This is testing this, my this own is, memory of this, this movie. This is where it's super biblical. Like the king and queen of Thebes, city of the living. No, they don't say that. Colin but, found his voice. Um, yeah, he loves it. He loves so it. <laughs> they uh, they're murdered by the evil king. Is he, is he a king? He's a, I he's don't. A, it's like he's the know. head of security. There's like three that bad guys. All right, let's go with, okay, from the bottom up, there's the dude who kills the king and queen, yes. Hercules' parents, right? And yeah. he wants to be, become the ruler of Thebes. Yes. Above him, there's King Minos and Wait, Daedalus. Who are on the planet something like dealing oh, with the little talking toy? Right, go by. Oh, 
Oh, okay. okay. I forgot about them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. Science. Science. <laughs> yes. Science. Yes. They, they literally say that like eight times. Yes. So many Science. times. Yeah. So many times. Oh. They actually they may be at the top because I think I above think so. them then you have Zeus and uh, his. Yeah. Uh, yeah. His, yeah. Okay. You know, I was kind of hoping uh, somebody would hit him in his little thing and he'd mm-hmm. bust apart like a putty. Just oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> that would have been fun. I know. Well, it, kept, it kept giving me Power Ranger vibes, and I was like, yeah. oh, this still isn't like doesn't have nearly as yeah. good as action as Power Rangers. No. I, nope. Yeah. Even though we Rita got Repulsa Zed, was yeah, an wait, animated she villain. Was, that woman was Rita Repulsa. <laughs> yeah, basically. yeah, she really was. With but no Zed. Making, yeah. making little monsters and then ma- yeah, making yeah. them grow. She is Rita Repulsa. Yeah. 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 yeah, okay. Yeah. She's yeah. like, here's my little monsters. Yeah. And then she yeah. And her costume had a weird, like, she had those crotch like, cup. Yeah, had and it cup. had like and the, the weird... mask around her face is yeah. very Rita Repulsa the way it was she. And it was very, and it was very, yes, it was very creature from the Black Lagoon. I thought it was like a fucking gremlin from the new batch. Wasn't oh, there one of them that yeah. had like, maybe I could be wrong. Yeah. yeah. It's like the creature from the Black Lagoon drawings that you see. Yes. And stuff. Yeah, with the, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A very yeah. weird. Okay, there's another villain, and that is the one who is assisting the evil king, uh, the usurper, is Sybil Danning, yeah. who yeah. is like uh, queen of the something, or she's the daughter of Minos, King Minos. Is she? Yeah. I is think she? So. I, okay. I don't know. She <laughs> says like ten lines in this whole movie. It's really hard to That's true. discern anything she's doing. Except that she wants to either mate with or kill Hercules. Yeah. Yes. Or maybe both. both. Or both at, at the same, same time. time. She's dressed like it's a porn parody. So Yes, she is. Yep. Yeah, there's definitely a brief nipple at one point. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And there's a couple moments where I was like, ooh, I'm, if she moves again, she's popping out. out. Yeah. yeah. She was it reminded me of out. that scene in uh, Scrooged. I could see her nipple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? I don't, what? Yeah. <laughs> or, uh, yeah. It's, oops. I lost myself. It's, there I go. <clears throat> and it's because like her costume find yourself, is like, find yourself. <laughs> her costume is not only like super skin tight, but it seems like it's like a ha- size too small for her. Oh, yeah, sure it is. Like, absolutely. Like, I don't know how she's breathing in that shit because no. it looks so tight on her rib cage. Yeah, it's very shapely mm-hmm. and multicolored. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. This is the thing you're supposed to get out of Italian cinema Tassels. is at least good fashion. <laughs> Isn't that what know, the country is known is for? This fashion. is not good fashion. I would say um, it's a loud. Yeah. <laughs> Unique. <laughs> and yeah. you also have this cutting edge state of the art uh, visual effects. Oh, yeah. That oh, all the is perspective. There? And nice. Composites. <laughs> lasers. You can tell. I like how you, s- you can see how there's like five different pieces to this shot and they're all slightly floating away from each other. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's yeah. like, ah, yeah. oh, that doesn't look good at all. Oh, it's amazingly bad. Oh, like yeah. bad, like bad, 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 bad. Yeah. What, this is what, what people did, who make try and make bad movies on purpose try and go for and mm-hmm. couldn't make it this bad. Well, I don't understand why they uh, chose to make some of the scenes seem like they were. Uh, you ever watch like a movie, a black and white movie that's been colorized? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. That's what this kind of sort of looked like in some of the mm-hmm. scenes where they're doing this like rainbow uh, color effect over the entire shot. Yeah. yeah. That was so bad. That was weird. Because I can't tell what I'm looking at then. Yeah. You know, I was yeah. like, what the fuck is that? I don't know. I can't tell. Because like the top half of the screen is red. Then there's the yellow and the green and the blue. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah, like we're talking. I mean, he does employ like the Mario Bava colored lighting. Of course. Schemes. Yeah. Space. But it never makes sense. When it's used, that's mm-hmm. the thing. That's how space. That's uh, that's the same space from Star Crash. That is red, yes. green, and blue. That is the yeah. same space. Yeah, the Which, stars. You got to have them. They got to be different color because yeah. in space there's color. Yes. Right. I mean, I don't know. I've never been to space, so well, I Italian don't know. space. Yeah. Maybe. I'm pretty. This, yeah, this is Italian space. This right? space just above it's Italy. Over yeah. them. I'm pretty sure yeah, the stars us. don't look like floodlights because they did in this. You don't know. Holly, you don't know that. I do for know. Sure. I, I'm, I'm going to write a conspiracy sure. theory about how I'm pretty sure Earth is flat and stars are floodlights. <laughs> <laughs> the Earth is a giant disc, yeah. a flat disc, flying <laughs> through space. Moon bases. <laughs> what did you guys think was the worst special effect in this movie? I think it was the hand coming out of the waterfall was the worst one. The Jesus. claymation hand. Yeah, Zeus catches a uh, young Hercules going over a waterfall, and for some reason they use a claymation hand. A yeah. giant it cannot bend very hand. well. You could yeah. just use yeah. the regular hand. Yeah, because yeah. you're just you're doing a composite. composite in and out. Well, why don't you? Mm-hmm. I don't understand that. Don't know. It's that weird. pisses no Hera sense. off though, because he catches little right. baby. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. baby sets him down. From I thought Lou Ferrigno putting his hand into the fire and it turned ice looked okay. Like that was probably one of the better looking ones. Right, in the movie. you could tell. I 
can you can still see kind of see the line yeah. where his arm. There but was the transition of, looked fine. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah. No, the worst was some of those matte paintings at the yeah. beginning. I think like oh, maybe yeah. when the little yeah. uh, the little baby coffin thing, whatever boat yeah. is traveling, and the sky is oh, jittering. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and yeah. I'm like, what color is that? Well. It, yeah, where you can't That's actually tell what you're looking at. Like I can't discern what the right. shot is until mm-hmm. you stare at it for a while. Like. Oh, I think that's the foreground. What about the composite of Lou Ferrigno pushing apart those two mountains? And he's giant, mountains. when he's giant, or he when pushed that, apart that Europe and Africa. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, he yeah, separated he the created pa- He broke up Pangea. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah she <laughs> yeah. did. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> that happened? But ah. that's not what we see happening. We see him standing between a big rock wall and then push it apart. He's that already kind of had a hole in it. So because he grew big at one yeah. point, brilliant. Yes, yes. Oh boy, that didn't look terrible actually. I, I didn't yeah. think it looked too bad. Yeah. Um, how do you get small again? Uh, they never did. Magic? No, no. We they didn't know. show it. Okay. Yeah. Well, because did. he goes on a journey. Because, as I was saying before, he no, has we a, a, a terrible uh, <laughs> upbringing where not only are his real parents killed, but he's taken in by foster parents, and then they're killed. One, his dad is killed by a bear while they're out hunting in the forest. <laughs> what happens to that bear, Colin? <laughs> well, the bear kills his dad, and then it attacks. Hercules comes running. Father comes running in, and in I think possibly the best scene in this movie, mm-hmm. uh, Hercules beats the bear to death, and then picks it up and flings it into space. <laughs> yep. Yep. Where it becomes a constellation. Yes. Or some major. Which is mm-hmm. a great idea. I'm just like, oh, that's that's yeah. actually not bad. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll give him that. <laughs> yep. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, oh, it oh. just cut away to like the shot of the earth and like, here comes this bear flying <laughs> toward the camera. It's, it's a teddy bear. It's a teddy bear. Yeah. yeah. Very much a teddy Head bear. Over oh, it's feet. Toward the flip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This oh is the kind God. of movie that we're dealing with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he throws uh, also a giant log into space at some point, yeah. much and slower a, rate of speed. And a rock that is attached to a chariot. Well, oh, because right. he doesn't have horses to carry the chariot at that point, Holly. Right. So how right. else are you supposed to get like some kind of forward momentum going? The chariot I mean, he's throwing. a problem solver. He's <laughs> a problem solver. Why did they not keep up with the constellation theme? Why did they not show him that throwing a up a idea. fuck ton of constellations, you mm-hmm. know? Especially because uh, your heroine, uh, her name is Cassiopeia. Right. Which, yeah. Which, which I'm just like, yeah. that should be foreshadowing right there. Like, who's going to launch her in a fucking space? Oh, yeah. She's got to become a constellation <laughs> at some point. Or, okay, so so he throws, he throws the adult bear into space, right? It's got cubs. You throw a little one. You got Ursa Minor up there now, right? And then when he burns down his when he burns down his own house, yeah. that happens later on. He takes a big fucking ladle and throws it up in the air, and that's the fucking big difference. Yeah. Why? You yeah. Know? Like, <laughs> well, like well, it. we got to save something for the sequel, oh, right? Because right, everybody right. else. Wants I mean, you can't do it all far. in one movie. Yeah. I mean, this is going to go on for you know the series, the continuing adventures yeah. of Hercules. Mm-hmm. Of it's going to be a franchise, an extended universe. So you know, mm-hmm. the best one is when he throws the chariot because he throws the chariot, and then we go on a journey with him, and then it's just. <laughs> Him realizing that he threw it too far? Yeah. I don't know. He's having yeah. a, a crisis moment at that point. He's going, yeah. no. How do they depict this crisis moment? Just overlays of close-ups of <laughs> him freaking out. In like, space, though. Yeah. Like Overlays oh, in space. What have I done? All right, so let me get this straight, right? Because they're on can you, Earth. Can you get it straight? I, I'm, I'm I, thinking I don't maybe. Think you can. Because they're on Earth, and they need to get to... because. Uh, well, he he also partners up with uh, a sorceress, Cersei the sorceress, the witch. All right, because after he goes through his trials, you know, I feel like I'm watching the movie again because you're mentioning things. I'm like, oh yeah, that happened, <laughs> Shit. right? Well, because she's like a character who's with him for a good portion right. of the film yes. in her styrofoam cave. Yeah, yeah. In the her styrofoam unpainted ca- styrofoam cave, and she is the one with the crotch tassels. Yeah. Yep. Right and Very the important. the nipples on the uh, armor, the, the armor, armor. Oh, right. yeah. nipple, armor. nipple armor and crotch tassels. That's right. Yeah. right before Batman did it. Very yeah, important. Did it. Mm-hmm. Very important. I Take that, know. Joel Schumacher. <laughs> Suck right. it. That's right. <laughs> I don't know the actress's name, but we pointed out she was in uh, Dario Argento's Tenebrae. She was a victim of oh, this. Yes. A much bigger part in this, but so she partners up with uh, Hercules to go on his journey, uh, and. It feels like we're jumping over several things that they have to do, including mm-hmm. uh, splitting the continents for a reason I'm not entirely sure. They have oh, to yeah. fight uh, these mechanized 
um, robot things that are kind of the analog of this Bubo mo- in this uh, Mothra. In- yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the same. Did they get these from Toho? Did Toho was like, we don't need these anymore. You can well, have it's them. It's from Clash of the Titans, right? Didn't they have the? It was a here's a mythological right. movie, but we've got the fucking Star Wars droid bird. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> you know, and this right. one's like, well, they had a droid bird. We're gonna have a three headed. I'm not even sure it what the fuck that was. Heads, it did though. not have three. They heads. said it, it did, did, but it we had three little. They were very small and very. But metallic. we only saw it from the side, so we never right. saw the full three head. It was it's happened. It's not good. <laughs> really, really bad. I'm, yeah. I can't even tell what these things were supposed to be. Uh, or look no. like. One of them kind of looked like a minotaur. Yeah. They all they get sure. to the earth and then they grow gigantic. I hate and then that you say that because now I wish I would have seen a scene of him in a maze with the Minotaur chasing oh, him. You know? They even Why set does- that up. They said, <sighs> now he is in my labyrinth. And I'm yeah. like, ooh, this is where the Minotaur ooh, the lab- shows yeah. up. These are good. There's no Minotaur in the I didn't labyrinth. I get the part where, what's his name? Who's the guy on the moon planet? That is um, King Minos. King Minos was like, could you make it grow? To medium size. <laughs> I just want to see what that looks like. And your mannerisms were exactly like <laughs> that movie. Yeah. That would be I would a very great. Much appreciate it. Yeah, he says something like that. Yeah, right? yeah it is, and that's it. That's as far yeah. as it goes. He just wanted to see it get a little bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Cut to new scene. Yeah. yeah. And then, is then he he's her, like, "Is he her Goldar?" I think he's right. Yeah, he doesn't feel like Zed. No, he's no, he's he is not a Zed. He's not cool no, enough to be Zed. He's not angry enough to be a Zed. Zed had a straight up like bondage outfit and like muscle exposed, and his that was his get up. Yeah, no, I feel like he's, he's gonna uh, be Goldar, he's, right? Goldar or the guy who made the monsters? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think. yeah. Whatever his, I forgot his name. I'll think of it. Keep going. Power, <laughs> Rangers. Power, Rangers. Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Yeah. Power Rangers. Yeah. Power Rangers. Yeah. Well, I'm unsure of the dynamic between these two villains. Uh, mm-hmm. Mino summons Daedalus to show up, and then he's like, "I need your help, Daedalus, so we can defeat you know Hercules." Right. What if you? Got- and then uh, then the robots show up, which I thought were Minos's robots, which he then has her send down to Earth, mm-hmm. and then he's like. I think I can take it from here. Yeah, I'll call on you again. Then- For the final battle between good does and he, evil. Does he do that? F- you no. gotta set something up for later, yeah, Sean. I mean, back. what later? Back. <laughs> it's her later. Oh, yeah. Did Hercules 2, 3, 4, and 5. Mm, setting up a franchise. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers. This is after Star Wars, so that's how you do it. Uh, wow, don't say that. That makes me really put this movie in a different position. This is post Star Wars. Oh, post yeah. all of them. That's why I had a laser trilogy, right? flaming laser sword at the end. Oh that, was, that was a fire sword. That's because like it's, okay. looking at this movie from a, like just watching it, not knowing what year it's from, you would probably guess like 68. 70. 72? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah it would. It's yeah. bad. Yeah. You're more forgiving of stuff from back then, I think. But yeah. it sure. just shows that, like, but even not though. 83. No. I'm not forgiving You should enough. know better, 1983. Yeah. But yeah. it's like the Italian technology at this point in time hadn't improved from 1968, yeah. really. But the only thing that's different is the advent or inclusion of now we got to have droids and lasers. Right. In our science fiction fantasy stuff, where so you didn't have so to. So we're have still going to do swords and sandals, but we'll just fucking throw droids yeah. in there. Yeah, that's because yeah. we've got you get pyramids, your. but the yeah. pyramids yeah. look like they've got like circuitry on them, and we've got yeah. uh, Pandora's cup, but it's got lights it's inside it, like it's uh, Pandora's jug, but it's all got like rainbow colored lights inside mm-hmm. it, so it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. Okay, so we're, Return we're, of the Jedi was the same year as this one. I was yes, going to say, was. yeah, Return of the Jedi was a year. It was Videodrome, and Videodrome is a significantly lesser known movie that had better special effects than this movie still. That was yeah. Rick Baker, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was the top, top, top dudes in their field. Right. Wait, was that, was Videodrome Cronenberg? Yes. Yeah. That, well, that's the, also the other reason why it's Videodrome is Videodrome. It's <laughs> <Right. laughs> Cronenberg. Right. He is no Luigi, Luigi Kuz, right. Kuz here. But yeah. it's one thing for a Star Wars movie to have good special effects. It's another for like a niche movie like, you know. Video drum's mm. not going to be your bl- summer blockbuster. No, it's not. <laughs> you know? no. So, but uh, Hercules had it shot because, if I remember correctly, I looked up on Wikipedia, it debuted number five in the United States. Slow weekend mm-hmm. when it opened. <laughs> it had a good weekend. It's opening weekend, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it did do almost double its budget and then spot office around. Wow. I think that's the thing. If they could actually open theatrically here in the United States, it was a fucking gold mine for Italian filmmakers. Mm-hmm. That's why they cast, you know, like American yeah. actors mm-hmm. as their leads, you know? Yes. It's like because they knew if they could do that and make and make it seem to you like, hey, this is an American movie, mm-hmm. you'll spend your money on it and go see. You know what would be an amazing mm-hmm. thing? 
if one day you just met all of these Italian actors and actresses and they talked like they do in these movies. <laughs> <laughs> all dubbed over. All dubbed over. Like that was real life. It's just how they talk. That would be the most amazing thing in the world. Yeah. So, oh, I would love that. I want to go around the table and see what you guys think the budget of this movie Uh-oh. was. Oh, Jesus. In, in lira? Or dollars? <laughs> <laughs> no, U- US, do- U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars. Um, I would say... I'm gonna two point five million. Okay, I wasn't even gonna go that high. I was gonna say maybe. You're right. It's like six hundred thousand dollars. I was gonna. I was gonna say like maybe a million. Okay. I'm gonna say six million. I'm going high. (laughs) Sean, you are right on the money. Is fucking. Oh my god. (laughs) That's right, because it's canon, and they just said, yeah, Yeah. Yeah. because it's canon. Take the money and go do it. Any other group, I wouldn't think that high, but it's canon, and they're gonna put money into it. It's eleven million in its box office. Yeah. It's so profitable. This, but this movie was also shot at the same time, like back to back, like the same people are in it. And I think Luigi Cosi directed The Seven Magnificent Gladiators. Yep. Mm-hmm. Was that also a canon film? Was that like canon I just going, don't here's think the so. money and. No? No, I don't think mm-hmm. so. That would be I think weird if canon it wasn't. jumped into this late. Canon oh. dis- distributed some very random things. They didn't necessarily make things, but they distributed sometimes some weird things. Yeah, like we can make some money with that like, shit. Technically, uh Mannequin is a canon movie because Get it out. was distributed by Canon. Oh, it wasn't shit. made by Canon, but they distributed it. <laughs> uh-huh. so, watching Mannequin. Well <laughs> I because I didn't know if it counted because it was distributed, not made by. It wasn't a Golden Globe. It's it's just, movie. Right. Yeah. If it's Summer not yeah. Canon, it got, right. yeah, for yeah. Canon, yeah. Right. it's gotta be made <laughs> by it, that's why I'm saying like I, I went back and forth and I was like I really want to watch Mannequin, but it technically doesn't count. She so. she for real considered it yeah. she she messaged she me. Like, she's like, am I, I she's like, am I crazy? I'm thinking about Mannequin. <laughs> mannequin comes on picking ghost. <laughs> just Do it. Oh, I think Jesus. you should. Yeah, why not? I think you should. Just, just, saying. To, just I just want Colin, I want sarcastic Colin that night. So I'm, I'm, well, I'm trying to work up to him here. I mean, everyone, you know. Um, no, we got theatrical. I'm just. Tonight. I'm surprised that those that they weren't in the both canon films. Then if they like, because Sybil Danning, Lou Ferrigno, everybody's mm-hmm. in, you know yeah. everybody's in in the movie. Um, so the scene though that we were getting at earlier, where he throws the uh, rock that's tied right. to the chariot into space. Yeah. Right. If I can understand this correctly, they have to get to the bad guys' evil lair because the bad guys have stolen Cassiopeia, stolen, kidnapped right. Cassiopeia, Acquired. the love of his life. She's a virgin that he kissed once. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. And she's in love with him. He's in love with oh, her. I'm pretty sure he's a virgin, too. I'm just yeah, well, it sure seems that way. <laughs> I think so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and he, yeah. And he's so. Is he doing quests? Qu- quests and farming with yeah. ox? And burning <laughs> yeah. houses down. Yeah, and burning his shit down. <laughs> they don't have any ox, oxen. Only yeah. virgins would just do that yeah. shit. Yeah. Because yeah. I can pull it. You know, cut the tree down. No, no, father. I will yank it out by its root. <laughs> I have misplaced sexual energy. I will pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what What's next? Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, so he throws it. So so they're on Earth in like uh, whatever. The, and they got to get to uh, Thebes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Sure. But they're on. Th- yeah, they're at Thera. I think There's a scene where they now. have to go like w- on the river Styx, and they have to meet the boatman. I swear to God, it's Clash of Titans. Anyway, uh, so he it's throws. Like the only thing they kept from Hercules mythology was the river Styx. It was like one of the only things that was still in there. I think he fights a bear. Uh, uh, yeah. Is he wear a bear head in uh, the other one? Yeah, maybe, maybe it's. But a bear I mean, head. like I said, there's twelve tasks, That's and this true. one has like maybe four. So he throws this rock into space, mm. and this is where like the time warp thing happens. It's like whoa, and you get the multiple exposures. Like they've thrown the, they're going too fast, and they right. went into another dimension, and then they slingshot like around the universe, the known universe, yeah, and they end up on Earth, probably twenty miles from where they started. Did I have that right? Is that what it happened feels like yeah. it. in that yeah. scene? Yeah, feels yeah. Like that's what happened. happened. Yep, sounds right. It made you me, just throw that way. Because it made me, it made me think of the fucking plot in Armageddon when they have to slingshot around the moon. It's the same thing. And we saw that same happen. Thing. The little the curvature yeah. as they got to whatever one of the planets, uh, the Jupiter or something. They did the yeah, come back yeah, mm-hmm. yeah curvature space. 
Time. It's curved. Science. It's fucking, yeah. It's science. 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 What was the deal with that? I don't know. He was very into science. I don't know. Every, That's your every bad guy. science will come and did. defeat the gods. The bad guys always have the, like, every the one idea thing you did. that they're stuck on, which is the reason why they're bad. <laughs> Even the Wikipedia is sarcastic about that, because the Wikipedia for this movie says a bad guy using, like, science and science in quotes. Like, science. science. Yeah. Yeah, so even the Wikipedia for this movie is like fucking sarcastic. Because every Were you moment. scrolling down to see what they did, the asterisks get, and we'll scroll <laughs> yeah. down to see what science equals right. to them. Because every moment that you have Some no bullshit. fucking idea what he's doing, that's the moment he's like, science. Yeah. Every goddamn time. He's literally mm-hmm. like, because science. Yeah. That's literally <clears throat> his answer for everything. Just like that. There's yep. nothing more to it. Nope. No. Yeah. Uh, the the so the top tier people uh, Zeus and Hera and uh, right. and Af- uh, Athena they bow out of the movie at some point yep. yeah they're just gone they're, gone. they're just yep. gone and then Minos and uh, Daedalus well he he dismisses Daedalus sure and then he's yep. out of the movie yep and then he's gone leaving us with the minor villain and his henchwoman yep uh, that's where we end up where they have the, the the climax comes down to the sacrificial lava room. Yes, right. the Phoenix Lava Room. With uh, So there's a sword. And this is the first time in the movie where I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember they might have been setting this one plot point up early yeah. on in the movie. Right. Was that there was a, a magical sword that was formed by light or something like that, that, that it was in Hercules' original parents, royal parents' possession. Right. right. The dude stole, and now it's here. And in and this thing, uh, <laughs> keeps... he stabbed a dude. It's like if only you'd seen it coming. <laughs> <laughs> this Marju Gordner should have been this guy <laughs> in his ridiculousness. That would have been much better. It would have been be- if they got the guy who played the Count uh, Zarkon, uh, Zarthon, Zar- yeah. Uh, who's that? Joe Spinell in uh... <laughs> yeah, that's Joe Spinell in Star yeah. Crash. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> he was an evil villain. Mm-hmm. This guy's just kind of like I'm evil. Yeah, Even? yeah. He, I needed more from him. Everything about this movie is lethargic. Yeah, even yeah, when it's like commit, even commit yeah. to your evilness. Even the moment when he dies, he's literally just like looking at the camera as he <laughs> yeah, like falls yeah. down. <laughs> like he, there's no, there's nothing cool. there. Right, you barely. I, I, yeah, I, it took me a second. Like, did he? He stabbed like, him, he's, right? He's dying. He right? ran him through. This he's just it. like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just staring as he falls down. I was like, oh, this is the death scene. This is it. <laughs> oh, wow. He's, he's I got it. Okay. And, and it feels to me a like through his eyes. the yeah. credits were like uh, about a hot 60 seconds after that moment. Yeah, Am I wrong? Yeah, 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 exactly. death, and then he reels her up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they're going to offer well, the, her in her takes, seashell it bikini. It takes a minute yep. for them to run out of the exploding Oh, yeah, they're going to run away because yeah. the lava's mm-hmm. coming. That's for the and, rainbow. And, yeah. Lava yes. covers everything and destroys the pyramids, and then, and then we get the model exploding and right. crashing on. You know, and then itself. the two virgins kiss. <laughs> yeah, and that's all they don't even do. kiss; they just hug. Oh Jesus! They are. <laughs> they just oh, hug, uh-huh. and then it like fades into them becoming part of the stars, and then they just uh, pan their head and walk away. Yeah, <laughs> this movie's far too chase. It's a little. Cool. It is yeah. because yeah, like it's... all the stuff, like you know, when they when actually Cassiopeia had her. Uh, uh, sacrificial gown on with the, um, the it was just tassels. Generous. You're being it was literally tassels. from like her clavicle down was just tassels, tassels. Yeah. Yeah. with seashell pasties. Yeah, that's but that it, it calls to mind like I mean because all these things are you know are drawing off of I think the artwork of uh, Frank Frazetta and yep. Boris Vallejo and you look exactly. at their like yeah. stuff. any of those posters you've ever seen there's, yeah. there's boobs on all of them yeah, yeah. yeah. oh yeah. yeah and there's uh, usually a snake mm-hmm. um, or some a, kind of dragon a, buff, thing, a dragon yeah. a buff yeah. man yeah. Uh, lion pterodactyls and as it were panther sure. no I don't yeah. know mm-hmm. Um, sometimes a panther. Everything's you very know, muscly too. You're gonna blow your mm-hmm. mind. You're gonna have to Google this because it's not the one you're thinking of. But Boris mm-hmm. Valle- Vallejo designed a poster for the movie Nothing But, but Trouble. trouble. Shh, I don't want to see it. I mm. <laughs> because that movie already makes me nauseous. <laughs> well, and I'm it's sure not that the one poster. that you're thinking of though. Because I'm like, the, I've never seen it. That's what scares me is that the imagery from that movie is what makes me nauseous. So I don't want to see it drawn no. in a hi- hyper realistic no. fashion. I'm, well, he, I'm marking this all down. Yeah, you're gonna look it up. No, no, no. I, I'm right. marking all the mentions Here. of these. <laughs> movies. Nothing the more you mention them, I have meters. Well, I know that Michaela hates it so much. It is the most appalling movie. It is the only movie to where I legitimately was like, I'm. I'm gonna throw up. I, I 
feel it. I'm getting sweaty. My stomach's like clenching up. I'm going to puke. Like, that's the only yeah. movie that's ever made it's me feel so like have a visceral gross. reaction like that. Yeah. And then not only be like, but like, I had that reaction for no reason. This movie has no point. Like, that, no like point. not only that, like, I went through this for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you also did the poster for National Lampoon's Vacation and European Vacation. Oh. That I can see. Oh, yeah. Okay, this poster's yeah. not as that bad as That makes sense to me. Let's see. It's, it's not as bad as I thought. It it's, looks like a Boris Vallejo poster. Sure. It's yeah. pretty... It, 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 omits, oh, okay. it omits all the grossest yeah. things from that movie. Yeah. yeah. That's why they probably didn't use well, it. I've never it's seen nothing. that. It's nothing. It's Mr. Yeah. Bone Crusher. what the movie is. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Dan Aykroyd and his fucking dick-shaped nose in that I, movie. I can't... I just... Can we... I can't. I can't. I can't. understand. <clears throat> I don't understand anything anymore. Okay. Well, um... <sighs> This movie was successful enough. It was uh, uh, mm. that it led to I'm the a, Adventures of you. Hercules Two. What? <laughs> what happened it's, in that movie? Well, I want to know why it's Anything? called the Adventures of Hercules Two, not just the Adventures of Hercules. Or yeah. there should be like an Adventures of Hercules, or Adventures of Hercules Two. It's Adventures of Hercules Two. Herc very, two. very confusing. That was made in 1985. Okay, and apparently they wanted to make this film the sequel because the first one was so awesome right. but somehow they ended up with Lou Ferrigno only for three weeks and so they reused a bunch of footage from the first one uh, oh, Jesus. oh no to pad it out uh, it's on the shout factory double feature uh, this you can purchase it anything now. won't they yep. oh, yeah Good, uh, and uh, Lou Ferrigno went back to Italy in 1989 to work for Enzo Castellari and Luigi Cozy, uncredited for Sinbad of the Seven Seas. Ah, was Holy he Sinbad? Shit. He was Sinbad. Huh? Clean shaven. Oh. I don't think I know what he looks like clean shaven. That's, that's how I've that's Sinbad how I've, of the Seven Seas. Wait, no, I've no, no, no. King of Queens, he was clean shaven. Yeah, I was like, I, yep. and I love yep. you, man. He's clean shaven. Yep. 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 I've seen him at a couple comic cons before. He yeah. Looks, he looks mm. the same. Just older. Yeah. 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 He seems Where's he cool. from? Chicago. He's, no, no he's got an accent, does he? Or is some it's sort because of impediment? Of it, yeah, it's because oh, okay. of his uh, hearing. Yeah. Okay. I funny. think, yeah, I think there's like a story there of how he sure. learned to actually, I mean, he can, I believe he can hear something, but, right. you know, through the aid of uh, hearing aids. And he whatnot. is from Brooklyn. That does not surprise me. I was going to say, I was yeah. going to say New York. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's got that vibe about him that you're like, yeah, he's from, he does. not from Manhattan proper, but he's yeah. from somewhere. From one of the yeah. boroughs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of, should we count them out? Oh, <laughs> God damn it. God should damn it. Out? Let's like stay fucking Gotti? This shit. Yeah. No. Get out of here. <laughs> and that's five. That's a fist. That's a fist. That's a fist. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, go see Gotti. That's my yeah. recommendation uh -huh. for tonight. I'm done. Yeah. But will no, you, you recommend <laughs> Hercules? I think we should find out, Colin. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. Well, uh, we're there. Are, you, are we missing anything? You have any stray know. thoughts? Yeah, Holly's yeah, like, just get me out of her <laughs> fucking Hercules. <laughs> Done. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do, listener. We are going to go around the table one by one. We're going to tell you if you should watch this movie because we've been playing it pretty coy. You don't know if we liked it or it didn't at this point, do you? <laughs> so we're going to tell you. <laughs> yup. Uh, but first of all, we're going to do the time-honored tradition of summoning our mailman, Igor. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. He's wearing one of those muscle costumes. Did you see? He's got tassels like everywhere. He's got tassels oh. up the wazoo, man. Like, he's tripping over them. They're so long. Yeah. He that's, doesn't understand tassels. God damn it, you are. That's just his skin. That was his takeaway? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. They're skin it tassels? It's shredded. Skin, skin oh, tassels. Let's never say skin tassel ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Uh. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, dear listener, this is the moment where we want to hear from you. So you can Please. write to us, get a hold of us on Facebook. Facebook.com. <laughs> Skin <laughs> tassel. <laughs> Sorry. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. How about Skin Twitter? <laughs> at Sat Freak Show. Uh, by email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Did we have some at of the... At uh, <laughs> Yeah. Then we're going to have to copyright that. 
Oh, okay. Cabaret 2018 Skin Tassel. Skin tassel. Oh. Igor at SkinTassel.com. Yeah, Igor, yeah, Igor at SkinTassel.com. He makes it sound skin like he's tassel. some gross like, he's model. Just, he's a gross like, stripper. Gross, That's, yeah, gross. yeah. Like, uh, like a cam girl. He's like a cam girl. <laughs> <sighs> Poor Igor. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, Brian the Cop writes in and says, Brian the Cop, I, like I love it. your podcast, possibly the best movie review podcast out there. Great dynamic between the four hosts with intelligent, factual conversations. Keep up the good work. You guys make my drives to work and back much easier. That's Aww, awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I noticed I'm you trying, said. I'm trying to. I noticed it. you said possibly the best. <laughs> I, no, <laughs> I mean, yeah. well, now we have a goal to aim for, right. Holly. Okay, so, yeah. all right, we'll work on it, it, Brian. Yeah, the cop, yeah, we'll yeah. work on it. That's, I hope that's, you're real. That's very sweet. I appreciate I hope you're, it. I hope you're real. That was a five star <laughs> review. You're real. You're real. You're real. It's not Igor filling out fake reviews yeah. for us, <laughs> yeah. sir, Mr. Cop. I hope you're real. Igor's trying to pattern reviews. He's like, oh, Brian, he should he should have a profession, right? He's the cop. Yeah, Brian the cop. Done. <laughs> well, about, Igor's catfish account. <laughs> about our past episode, I know what you did last summer. Mm-hmm. Andrew John writes in and says it's a great episode. I can't explain it, but I like the movie too. Right? It's, it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's something about it, man. Yeah. He says also, congrats, Michaela, on the engagement. Aww, Thank you. Yay. Appreciate it. He says I just proposed to my girlfriend two weeks ago. Hell yeah! Awesome. Congratulations. Okay. Well, Congratulations he didn't say to she you said too. Yes. He just oh, said he did I mean, it. I'm assuming yeah. he wouldn't tell us about it. Yeah. If he said no. You don't really announce yeah. that I mean, kind it of sounds thing. Exci- yeah, you, you he sounds know. excited. You yeah. never know. Uh, he said uh, yay, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Anthony Moya writes in and says about whether I know what you did last summer is a slasher movie or not. He says it's a slasher. Generic, but it's a slasher. I forgot Johnny Galecki was in this one. He has the best kill in the movie. Yeah, so, yeah, we sure. forgot too. Yeah. <laughs> like the only he has, goddamn show movie. Any other? He's like the only one who actually like gets it on screen. Yeah, Sarah in, Michelle Gellar's a little hidden. Yeah, quote unquote slasher movie. Everyone it's else a, is like yeah, off screen or somewhere else. Like, yes. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah, he's got the best one. Yeah. The only other good part is when he gets his fucking hand taken off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Well, drinking beer, watching movies, writes in and says, laughing my ass off. Thanks for the shout out. How the fuck did he get those crabs and that body out of the trunk? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Unless, like, those crabs In are all broad trained. Daylight. <laughs> tarp, man. I like the yeah, I think we had an answer for this. Tarp. I still don't. No, because <laughs> he's just you dragging a body of crabs through tarp. backyards. Yeah. For at least like a mile. No, he pulls his car up, takes the tarp out, puts it in the fucking pickup truck. All right, truck I didn't think of that. That makes more sense. Yeah. I, I want to go. Still, I'm going to go with trained crabs. If you like, watch he whistles the movie, and they all follow. Oh, that's not The a crabs idea. took the body away. Yeah, yeah. I like Let's this burn. better. Yeah. Crab crab this is better. I love it. I love if it. If there's going to be one, it's going to be a fishing town like this, Absolutely. right? So, Absolutely. Know. I'm, I like, I like it. it. This yeah. is better. Yep. There you go. So there, there you have it. Uh, drinking beer, watching out. movies. <laughs> so uh, no mail next... from thx one one three eight or whatever. The fuck <laughs> no, he didn't write in. Probably because you keep telling him to get <laughs> yeah. a, a name. name. Well, hey, he's probably developing a complex. <laughs> so uh, you can write to Sean at no, no Dom. Okay. I noticed. What? No Dom. Well, he, Dom. He, oh, he has been giving us non feedback. Uh, suggestions uh, well, of films to watch. Oh, that's yeah. very true. Like yeah, Hercules Reborn, Hercules. Yeah. Don't worry, Holly. I like how okay. we, he sees we're doing one movie, and then he keeps recommending more of that same one. <laughs> not yeah, really. Like, come on, Dom. Like we've watched it. And we don't want to watch more. Like right away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's no, not no, going to no. happen. No. And it would have to be Hercules: The Adventures of Hercules too. I mean, that was, mm. uh, just the line. I miss Sea Huds too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> come, come back. So yeah. new people, but the old people. Have. Thank you for joining us, new listeners. Yes, oh, yes. yes. thank, thank you, you very much. We appreciate. But that's it. you become part of our family. Yeah, and we miss you when you're not around. We do. It's like when you, you don't, don't show in. up for yeah. Thanksgiving, and I was just like, I can't wait to see my cousin at Thanksgiving. <laughs> exactly. You don't come. And exactly. It's like, well, now Thanksgiving's ruined. We love so. you all. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ruin our podcast yeah. by not writing yeah. in, goddammit. <laughs> Jesus. It keeps us alive. It keeps us going. It's yeah. the some, oil for the gears. For some of us, it's all we have. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's too so, real, Sean. It's too real. <laughs> well, let's go around the table. Movie. Shall we? And tell the dear listeners who've uh, paid their money, bought their ticket, say, uh, put that. their headphones on, what Colin. we thought 
<laughs> Colin, what did you think about this? Is Hercules? Yeah, Hercules? Yeah, it's Hercules. Hercules. Just Hercules. Just Hercules. Hercules. It's just okay. Hercules. I've been watching a lot of different Hercules this past week. 1983 Hercules, yeah. So, uh, just Hercules. What did you think about just Hercules? Just Hercules. Um, I wish just, it was called just, just Hercules. Hercules. Just Hercules sounds like a, ro- a, a romantic comedy. comedy. It sounds like a romantic like comedy. Just right. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. I'm just, just Hercules. Yeah, I'm just, just Hercules. Hercules. I'm just a boy it's standing a in front of a girl. I'm just a guy standing in front of a girl. Let's write it. I'm going to do it. Oh, we're so going to write it. Asking him to write the tassels. Um, it's going to be like a Kate and Leopold situation, but with Hercules. Yes. We're as doing as this. There's a strip club called Skin Tassels. We're doing <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. That doesn't sound like a strip club, though. That sounds like, it sounds a, like a fetish club. Um, okay. Have you, have you guys not seen strip tease? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There was a strip club in that movie called The Skin Farm. That's horrible. Oh, God. Or no, the That's Flesh Farm. I'm sorry. The Flesh, flesh Farm. farm. That was that. Yeah. Better. And the other one was the Eager Beaver. So if those That's can better. be names of strip clubs in a movie, then the Eager Beaver is better. Skin tassels can be one skin too. Skin tassels. Yes. Skin and flesh. I don't yeah. want flesh in my strip clubs. <laughs> flesh, no, like, I do yeah. want flesh in my strip clubs. Flesh I don't farm want flesh is in my not in the title. Flesh Farm ever. is a gross image. Flesh. God damn, oh, God. that's bad. I don't want to hear that. This sounds so gross. Colin, what do you think? Flesh farm and skin tassels. A flesh farm or skin tassels? Which would you rather have your strip club named? Ooh. The flesh farm or the skin tassel? That's a good question. I'm going to be sick. These are disgusting. <laughs> These are I mean, at Jesus the flesh Christ. farm, it feels like there's going to be like, you're going to be able to get like uh, like some kind a of hog leg. Like whole side yeah. beef or yeah. something. Yeah. 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 That's what it feels like. Yeah. That sounds like a butcher shop. <laughs> yeah. It sounds it's like a, a country leg. western <laughs> themed strip club though while yeah, you're yeah. eating your barbecue ribs you got yeah. beautiful women yeah. dancing in don't okay. ever eat the buffet <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. You take anything no, away no, from no. this the podcast yeah yeah there is no champagne in the champagne room That's um so about this film hercules yeah that yeah um yeah i don't know i mean going into it you know and and i do have a soft spot for this type of uh italian uh um flavor of cinema um but is this one a sure. good one? Would I recommend this one to you? I mean, it's a bad movie. Okay, it's sure. really, really bad by like any every kind standard. Of, yeah, st- <laughs> right. Standards but so, have not been created. But that's the thing. I thought Star Crash was a really bad movie, but it was a lot of fun. Like we enjoyed yeah. ripping the shit out of it. I got. Um, I was trying to do that with this one, but it felt uh, it it drained uh, my uh, you know. Will to will live. Will to live. Thank you for <laughs> like. What am I going for here? But yeah, will yeah, to live yeah. works. Why is that? <clears throat> and I was so I was thinking about it as the movie was going because I had a lot of time. Anti charismatic. Yeah, he's not a good character. Uh, he doesn't have enough sidekicks. You know, uh, it's the movie is based on a series, kind of like the Hobbit movies. This is why they don't work either. Mm-hmm. It's there. They have these little. Uh, moments where it's like uh, your character enters the scene he has to get the key from the magic door that's buried in the thing and solve a puzzle to do it and then you know once he does then you're on to the next scene where it seems like now we're gonna do another one of those and we after that it's a woman and the, she's going to join him so she can help him solve the next puzzle and it's just going to keep going forever and ever and ever and i'm like and i sat there and i'm like Wait, so what is the game. end of this movie? Right, yeah. Where are we heading with this? Yeah. Like, what is the dramatic engine that's been set up that's taking us somewhere? It fails in the hero's journey kind of thing, right? Yeah. Where, yeah. where he has... I. What it tries to do is like, well, his parents die, much like Luke Skywalker's, Why right? Why did his mother die? Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm not even sure exactly. who killed she her. She was attacked. I don't know. His yeah. friend came and was like, your mom's yeah, been attacked. She's in trouble, and, and we yeah. find her on the ground, and she dies. We yeah. have no and idea And he burns his house down. because it. Like, it was probably the fucking mean bitch god that did it. I think it, it was, <laughs> probably. He does have a straight-up Anakin Skywalker moment of being like, <laughs> uh, like, like, if my mom died, I'll kill you all kind of yeah, thought. Yeah. You know? like, he did. I'm going to find out what the, is the meaning of all this. If there yeah, had been Tuscan Raiders nearby, he would have slaughtered them all like animals, just like Anakin did in the Tech of the Clones. Yes. But he doesn't, this is the problem with having, it's whenever you do these heroes that are godlike in a way that, you know, it's like they can do anything and they have all this superpower, you, there's like, there's no room for them to move. They're awesome, you know? And so it's like, well, you have to have a character arc. They have to Mm -hmm. grow. They have to learn something about themselves. There's nothing there for Hercules to learn or to do. He just has to eventually make it survive Mm -hmm. to the end where he will eventually be paired up with the bad guy. And I was like, wait, who's the bad guy that he's got to fight? And the only thing I could think was, 
once they introduced uh, Cassiopeia, it's like at some point he has to get her back. Once he finds her, that's the end of the movie. Yeah. And sure enough, like as soon as he does, it's like, cut credits. Yeah. Done. Get the fuck out. Let's go. Um, I'm going to go home. Yeah. It just kind of felt like it was going on forever. That's not mm-hmm. to say, however, that there aren't a lot of fun moments they can There's be action had. figures in this movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. In the chariot through space, there's yeah. action figures. But it doesn't move as fast as I'm your sure that did. Was a black you know, Barbie. Because your <laughs> was doing the same kind of thing. I think this is part of like uh, we well, watched your them. started at a hundred. Like it started with that theme song of yeah. bam, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what it was it's missing. Like, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it started like all right, let's go. And he you fought know? dinosaurs. And- Real quick, yeah, yeah. but yeah. it has that same kind of thing where you know it's the the fantasy thing where like we're gonna have uh, these disconnected scenes. But now we meet the mole people. Now you're in the temple of fire demons. <laughs> now you're in the whatever, you know. And the narration in this too was like oh, uh, yeah. overpowering, and it felt like I think it was actually Minos talking, but it sounded like next week on the Adventures it, of Hercules. It did. Yeah. We Inter- kept waiting for them to say that because it felt like <laughs> yeah. it was coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hercules and uh, and Dr- and Cassiopeia found the hidden secret base below the whatever or entrance. Yeah. To Will the- they be able to survive? Yeah. Find out next week. <laughs> yeah. Same bat time, same bat channel. That's really weird. Um, yeah. So overall, I guess uh, I suppose I wouldn't recommend. It. You know, I mean, along with some of the other ones that we have recommended, and I feel bad kind of doing this because like it does seem like it's in that. You know, sweet mm-hmm. spot of it's so bad that it could be good, yeah. and I'm surprised that uh, Mystery Science Theater have they done this? No, not yet. Okay, mm-hmm. it feels like they could easily they could do, do this a lot movie. with this. Yeah, yeah, but it just feels it feels too long and uh, lethargic. I think was maybe a word that you yeah. used. Yeah, 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 yeah. spot yep. on yeah. point mm-hmm. to describe the pacing mm-hmm. of this movie. It's mm-hmm. like just get on with it. And so, uh, and a how lot long of stuff was, they could have cut. What's the running time? Uh, hour, hour and 40, and 40 minutes that's too long yep. 87 too minutes long. is where you want to be 20 minutes off that easy yeah, yeah. so uh yeah i'm gonna say you, you should probably skip uh hercules i would also i have seen uh, hercules 2 it's worse if i remember correctly wow, worse, huh? so just yeah just more like eject your, eject your seat <laughs> How many that, more are you going to do? That's the porn parody. <laughs> Hercules. Hercules. is the porn parody. Hercules. That's that's bad. That Hollywood. You'd you still think? have skin tassels in that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> just gross. Hey, guys, God. please hashtag this episode after, skin, skin tassels. tassels. A shredder. Let's get or skin tassels used on this. Right? Yeah, right. It goes in. <laughs> Cheese no, grater. It's, no, it's like, like a, no, it's like a big uh, shredder, and you go halfway in, and then you reverse it and come out, and that's yeah, the costume. Okay. Guys, let's get skin this tassels trending. Trend <laughs> yeah. This is so gross. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'm up. Um... I yeah no I, I I agree with what you're saying, Colin. I I actually I dug the uh, the voiceover part. That part I thought I thought that was funny. I actually dug the voiceover. It just, it made me laugh. Um, I wish it would have been accompanied by some animated acting. I think I, honestly that's the whole thing. If if everyone had just been more animated and ridiculous, we would have thought this was hilarious. Mm-hmm. And parts were really funny. But they, there just wasn't enough ridiculousness. Your one thing I remember about your is that he was very like he's like everybody loves me. Yeah. I, all the women want me. Like I wanted he's like Hercules, a big, dumb yes. surfer dude. Yeah. Yes, which is fun. And I wanted character. Hercules to be like that. Like I, Her- Hercules doesn't come off as intelligent. No, no. for he's being a, the smartest man. No, he doesn't have any personality. He's got the yeah. all. No personality. So he's got his mouth half half open. He's just like yeah, basically. Sean's doing yeah, it right he's now. He's doing it. Yeah, but Sean's doing it. Right he's now. he's that's, squinty. That's his only close-up. He's squinty with fish mouth right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't no, smile. He doesn't do anything. He's just like. And and Are there was muscle? there was that funny moment when the I don't remember her fucking name. The crotch tassels when she was like Cersei. She was like, "It's your fault because you made me fall in love with you." I want more of that yeah. ridiculous. That was funny. I want every woman that he comes across to immediately just fall all over him. Like, how is that not part of this? Right? He's, he's fucking Hercules. Yeah, he's Hercules. He's the he's the he's he's the greatest specimen of man that exactly. these people have ever seen in their lives. Exactly. I people wa- should just be falling over at his feet. The pro- the problem with this movie is we needed the version that Lou Ferrigno freaked out about. 
That's, that's the problem. That's the only way this is entertaining. That's yeah. the problem. That's the movie we needed. Because you know it'd be like Caligula. You yes. Know? It'd be like that. Yes. Well, it'd be... Have, have we seen the Deathstalker movies? No. 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 Warrior Queen, no. Barbarian no. Queen. No. Or, no. I keep hearing about Deathstalker, nope. and I've looked it up. There's like I think four that of should, them. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. We should probably get one of those. I think they I have think the, Shout Factory's got a double feature disc. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, because those are like we're gonna do the actual, you know, Frank Frazetta, Boris Vallier. Yeah, exactly. Thing. Sweet. Yeah. That's yeah. What I women see. Have like four boobs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and there's dragons, but we can't afford them, so it's actually a and sometimes Kiwana, four boob dragons. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> yeah, get weird with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go for it. Yeah, the, do the, it. You're creating a world. Create that world with yeah. all the boobs. Four, eight, whatever you want. I, I feel like I, I feel like we really felt. The the new version we got the diet Hercules you know that's what we got and it really oh, felt that like makes it. Sound sad. That, that's what it is. It just it they cut out all those elements that I think would have made it so much more entertaining. It just wasn't there. We didn't get the the big like fight scenes. The, there was no big action scenes. It was just like oh oh that th- that was the fight. We're done. Yeah, okay. Too much slow mo. So much slow motion. So yeah, it just. Nothing. I I know what they were trying to do, but they didn't actually they didn't actually pull it off. And I think they would have with the first script. Um, yeah, it just it fell short. There was some funny moments, but not enough to make it so bad it's good. So I I can't I can't say I recommend Hercules. Sean. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no with this movie. Um, I don't know. They needed more charisma all around yep. in this movie. I think we're lacking in that, and just some other ridiculous stuff. Um, it's 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 got those elements like we were talking about with Star Crash and all that, and it's kind of going in there, and it lives in that general mm-hmm. area, but it just doesn't do like enough. Instead of the big like fake robot monsters, we should have got more of like the swamp monster. Something. You I mean, know? if you look back at Star Crash, <laughs> where the little kid is accosted by the tentacles, yeah. they I, crushed his. I wanted. Uh, I wanted more that. I wanted like a big foam monster. Yeah, that would have been like, great. The baby in the shot, but big adult hands coming up. Yeah, oh my the god. Snakes yes. and everything. Like, I just, I just want it to <laughs> look bad means. if you're gonna do this yes. movie. And in Star Crash, we get a big woman robot with guns mm-hmm. coming out of her boobs, shooting. Yes, like I'm stuff, pretty sure <laughs> crazy shit like that yeah. is what you. It's not. It's what you need to do. Mm-hmm. Like you got to go for it, and yes. this movie just doesn't go for it. Mm-hmm. Like for whatever, don't for Igno, back. whatever. Just don't like you don't hold back. If you're gonna do stuff mm-hmm. like this, just go for it. Uh, the movie doesn't go for it. It suffers for it. Yeah, there's some funny parts, but not enough to build up to something that is like, worth watching. So I'm gonna pass on just Hercules. <laughs> yeah, Michaela. I, I agree with what you guys are saying. This movie's far too restrained to cross mm-hmm. into awesomely bad, and that's a shame because, like, you can see the seeds of of cuckoo bananasness starting to happen, but they never fully get to bloom. It's like, you know, with the the fucking Rita Repulsa like a- animatronic creatures that could have been really crazy, but you really only see them like twice. Yeah, you know, and um, it's it it could have been like. Your, but it didn't try hard enough. Nobody's yeah. going over the and top. Everyone's yeah. got that same just level delivery that they're doing. Do you the think they thought movie. this was like legit good and took it super seriously? I'm Do you think that so. was what happened? Kind of like, feel because that no, that's that's legit. I think the actors kind of took it seriously. In yeah, your, like, no this one was is taking going that on my seriously. Reel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people are yeah. gonna see this. And yeah. give me parts. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I guess if you're thinking like if Lou Ferrigno is coming off of Hercules or um, Incredible Hulk had just ended and he's doing this movie and you're one of the other actors in this movie, you're like, okay, he's a legit actor. Yeah. He's, has, mm-hmm. he's had mm-hmm. legit work. So I feel like if it was pre-Incredible Hulk, it would have been more insane, you know? Maybe. But yeah, I got to pass on this because it just doesn't cross into that awesomely bad territory and it's too slow mm-hmm. to make yeah, that it's change. Long. It's it too is. slow. The The pace is too... It, there's, there's so many... Things they could have cut out, they could have cut this down to a good seventy-five minutes, and that would have been fine. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I, I do not recommend it. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the summer of canon has been a lot of do not. <laughs> <laughs> summer of canon is over. Uh, yeah, yes. Did we uh, recommend any this year? What no, we? no, 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 we didn't. No. <laughs> because it was this Texas Chainsaw Massacre nope. two and Breaking two. Ooh, oh yeah. It's not been a great not summer. Not of canon. This is only not one good. summer of canon. We didn't know, how, like I said, we didn't know how good we had it last year. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> 
Well, there it is. Um, Live and learn, man. Yeah, yeah. But again, I yeah. guess we recommend the uh, documentary Electric Boogaloo. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's incredible. You got to watch, this, you gotta watch yeah. it. It's It'll fill in a lot of gaps for you on a lot of things. And it'll also raise more questions that As will not be answered. So, <laughs> like any good documentary. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like any good yeah. canon movie, yeah, it will yeah. raise questions that will there not there be go. answered. And you will yeah. see clips of movies that you're like, I need to watch that movie. And then you go to watch the movie and you realize oh, that, that clip, clip that they the showed best. was the best moment yep. in the whole yep. movie. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's how we ruined this movie last week because yeah. I was like, we're watching Hercules, so you got to see the scene where he throws his bear into space. Yeah. Right. So when we watched it tonight, everybody's like, yeah, okay, I saw that last week. And unfortunately, yeah. that's the highlight. Yeah. I think if it, we would have been taken off guard by it, it might have had a better. But still, that match. happened so early on that like everything after that is still. Yeah. 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 You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then nothing else lives up to throwing a bear into space. No. Yeah. <laughs> Because, God damn it, it's a, throwing a bear into space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. That bear pisses you off in your Hercules. Mm-hmm. Fucking chuck it at the yep. sun. Why not? Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. So that uh, wraps up Hercules. Hercules, Just Hercules. Hercules, Just Hercules. 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 Just Hercules on the Saturday Night Freak Show. Next week, we're watching a movie that's chosen by Colin. Colin, what are we going to watch next week? <laughs> no enthusiasm. No enthusiasm. All right, so here we go. I'm going to do, I'm still going with the summer of monster movies. There we go. All right. Next All right. one. Let's do it. I've been feature. doing is kind of like a, yeah, it's a creature feature. Okay. This one is on its 30th anniversary. Okay. I think it's going to be Killer Clowns from Outer Space. All right. Oh, shit. All right. That's been on my Dude. list forever. Nice. Right. Well, that's yeah, I love week. it. Sweet. Killer Clowns from Outer Space yeah. on the Saturday Night Woo. Freak Show. Yes. Check us out next week right here on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Tune In, and wherever the hell you found us. And until next week, the basement is going dark.